I don't want to turn this into a debate on hydrogen fuel cells because I, I just think that they're extremely silly. Um, <laughs> uh, very difficult to, to make hydrogen and store it and use it in a car. Hydrogen cars have been sparking the interest of millions across the world for a number of years now. While people share differing views on the feasibility of hydrogen cars, there is no denying that they possess their fair share of upsides. It's at a time like this that Tesla is now also being associated with the hydrogen car variant. Considering the company has always only produced electric vehicles in the past, this development is gaining attention across the globe. Elon Musk, the CEO and 23% owner of Tesla, has also shared his thoughts regarding the production of a hydrogen car by the company. So, is Tesla finally expanding its territory to hydrogen cars and what does Musk think about that? Let's find out in this video. Tesla is known for many things, but hydrogen cars have rarely been associated with the electric car manufacturer in the past. However, it appears that that is about to change. While the following move wasn't exactly sanctioned by Tesla, a Tesla car was used to essentially convert a Tesla model into a car that could run on hydrogen. The Federal Research Minister of Germany, Anja Karliczek, recently revealed an automotive creation. The minister revealed a Tesla Model Y that had been converted into a hydrogen vehicle, and this was referred to as a hyper-hybrid. The goal here was to illustrate the future of clean energy vehicles. However, the use of Tesla and the incorporation of both hydrogen and Tesla's original battery for this vehicle was intriguing, to say the least. Electric vehicles are no mystery to anyone. A battery electric vehicle basically uses an onboard battery pack to power the vehicle's motor, which includes varying configurations of battery cells. In other words, this is exactly how a Tesla vehicle works. The source of power is the most significant distinction between hydrogen-powered cars and battery electric ones such as Tesla. Electric vehicles are essentially powered by batteries that are charged electrically, even if it is from solar panels. However, hydrogen-powered vehicles generate their own electricity. They have a small power plant on board, which is a fuel cell. Unlike a combustion engine, which emits carbon dioxide, the hydrogen-powered reaction only produces energy, water, and heat. Water vapor and warm air are the only exhaust products. While both hydrogen vehicles and battery electric vehicles are excellent for the environment relative to the combustion engines, let's have a look at what the CEO of Tesla has to say regarding hydrogen cars. Elon Musk has recently had a lot to say about the feasibility of hydrogen cars. Unfortunately for hydrogen car enthusiasts, Musk's comments regarding the technology have been anything but positive. The richest man on Earth has actually called hydrogen fuel cells mind-boggingly stupid. But that isn't the only criticism he has leveled at the technology. It, it's just very difficult to, to make hydrogen and store it and use it in a car. He's labeled them fool cells, a load of rubbish, and said years ago at a Tesla annual meeting that success is simply not possible. Considering Musk's remarks regarding the use of hydrogen cars, it is clear that the CEO of Tesla has no plans to incorporate hydrogen-powered vehicles into the company. However, the use of some of the words by Musk was intriguing. Not only did he insult the use of hydrogen technology itself, but it was also clear that Musk had no hope of hydrogen power vehicles having a scope of their own in the future. There is no denying that currently, electric vehicles are much more popular than hydrogen ones. As of August the 1st, 2021, for example, there are only 11,016 fuel cell vehicles in use in the United States. As a comparison, nearly 1.8 million electric vehicles had been registered by 2020 alone. The difference is drastic and quite evident. Realistically, this is unlikely to change until a company pushes for the widespread use of hydrogen automobiles, resulting in increased demand for fuel and improved manufacturing methods. However, as matters stand at the moment, hydrogen vehicles are a number of years behind electric vehicles when it comes to technological advancements. Had Musk chosen to speak in favor of hydrogen cars, it could have ended up affecting the entire market. It is no secret that Elon Musk is heard by millions across the globe. While both hydrogen and electric vehicles are essentially green energy-run automobiles, there is a sense of competition between the two. It's also true that hydrogen cars do have advantages that electric vehicles simply do not possess. Fuel cell electric cars not only go as much as 300 miles or more on a full tank of hydrogen, but they also have the ability to refuel in just 3 to 5 minutes. Compared to the average charge time of an electric vehicle, which is typically in hours, a charge time of under 5 minutes is no short of a blessing for any hydrogen-powered vehicle owner. 
While only Musk can be sure of his intentions when referring to hydrogen cars as mind-bogglingly stupid, there is a fair chance that the comment was made to not let his competition get ahead of him. However, further discussion on the matter only continues to take a more speculative turn. There is no denying that hydrogen-powered cars do possess a charm of their own. However, it can be interesting to compare the feasibility of hydrogen-powered vehicles with that of electric vehicles. Hydrogen fuel cell cars are generally perceived to be a good bridge between fossil fuels and fully electric vehicles. A number of perceived reasons help make this notion more believable. This includes a misconception that the mileage one can get out of hydrogen is supposedly more adequate than what one can get from batteries. Hydrogen fuel cells are also thought not to wear out as fast as batteries do, but that is also not true. In fact, the reality is much more daunting for hydrogen fuel cell cars. The fact, on the other hand, is that one cannot fill up a hydrogen-powered car as one would with gasoline or diesel because there are nowhere near the number of charge stations available across the country. As of January 2021, for example, there are only 45 publicly accessible hydrogen refueling stations in the US, and 43 of them are confined to California. Additionally, one cannot even go 100 miles on current technology hydrogen tanks that would still be safe to carry around in a car. Fuel cells also happen to wear out very fast and are hard to regenerate. To make matters worse, hydrogen as a fuel is also incredibly hard to make and distribute with acceptably low losses. This in turn further increases the already expensive hydrogen fuel cell technology. A closer look at hydrogen cars suggests that hydrogen fuel cells also have bad theoretical and practical efficiency. That is because hydrogen storage is inefficient, not only energetically but volumetrically and with respect to weight as well. Fuel cell cars also require a lot of support systems, which make them much more complicated and prone to failure than electric cars. One of the most important factors to consider when comparing hydrogen-powered vehicles with electric vehicles is the cost of running them or the pricing of fuels in question. In the US, hydrogen prices are approximately $14 per kilogram. However, context is very important here. Taking the example of Honda Clarity, it would cost about $57 to fill up its 5 plus kilogram tank. That comes down to about $0.21 per mile traveled. In comparison, at 0.20 kilowatt hours for electricity, a Tesla Model 3 can achieve running costs of 5 cents per mile. Another problem with hydrogen is that it has a low energy return on investment. In other words, this return is the ratio of the quantity of useful energy delivered from an energy resource to the amount of energy consumed to produce that energy resource. The ROI of hydrogen created during the natural gas reforming process is less than 1, indicating that hydrogen is not the most efficient in this regard. For context, the number sits at 46 for an energy source like coal. The high cost of hydrogen is hence the result of low demand and low production. The fact that electric vehicles cost so little to run in comparison to hydrogen ones speaks volumes about the upsides of electric vehicles. Would you ever forego buying an electric vehicle to go for a hydrogen one? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.